The gardens here at Wadsden are a really exceptional example of late Victorian garden design and interesting I think because unlike many historic houses where the park and the garden might have evolved over centuries, here Ferdinand Rothschild created the house and its setting, the garden, in an astonishingly short space of time. It really was instant gardening. He had to start by taking the top off the hill, so over nine metres of soil were removed to create the flat plateau on which the house now sits. He had to cut the drives, he had to bring water in from Aylesbury. He even transplanted mature trees in specially designed carts so that he didn't have to wait for them to grow. And around the kind of framework of the garden, he was thinking about where the statuary might go, where all the different beds and, and different focal points that would create interest for his guests would be positioned. One of the highlights of the garden were these wonderful, colourful Victorian bedding schemes with masses of annual bedding plants produced and planted out every year. To create this effect, Baron Ferdinand had to employ an army of gardeners, up to 60 at least, who produced these plants in a range of glass houses. The garden staff went to extraordinary lengths to maintain the garden to a very high standard. And one time there was a terrific storm and Lady Warwick, who was one of the guests, recalls how first thing the next morning she looked out of the window and saw a whole group of gardeners replacing all the damaged plants with new ones brought up from the glass house. So that by the time the house guests went outside for their morning walk after breakfast, the gardens were restored to their immaculate appearance. When Baron Ferdinand died, he left the property to his sister Alice. And it was Alice who appointed George Frederick Johnson as head gardener. And between the two of them, Alice and Johnson, they developed the garden even further and brought it to new heights. And they probably introduced the 3D bedding schemes as well. And the wonders of their gardens are depicted in this extraordinary series of early colour glass slides. And we've still got these slides in the archives at Waddesdon and they proved invaluable uh, when it came to restoring the garden towards the end of the 20th century. We've got a team of 15 that work in the garden today. In this parterre alone we've got 16,000 bedding plants but we bed out twice a year so that's 32,000 bedding plants in this area of the garden alone. Overall in the garden we use something like about 50,000 bedding plants to show up. Well, if we start with the gardening year, that's traditionally January, February, the time when you plant bare-rooted trees, so we plant quite a lot of trees. Then we get into uh, spring, and that's when we start cutting the grass. The statue covers are removed because we cover the statues for winter. And then when we get into May, it's our intense bedding changeover. That's when we take out the spring display and put in the summer display. They're all hand-planted. We do have a lot of help from volunteers, but it's still a month of very intense planting. The carpet bed is changed every year. What we try to do, we're trying to base it on something that's happening within the manor. So we tie the inside and the outside together. This year it's the Savonry carpet that's on display in the manor, which depicts the head of Apollo, the sun god. So we took that section, grow it up, and we send it off to a specialist grower. He turns the plants into pixels so he can manipulate them on the computer. He turns them back into plants, plants them in a tray form, so it's almost like carpet tiles. Then it comes back up, flat packed, and then we lay the tiles down, and it's instantaneous, and the picture just appears as if by magic. Then we get into autumn, it's bedding changeover again, another month in October where we're very intensely getting involved in changing the bedding so that we've got the spring display planted, ready for spring. And then we actually help dress for Christmas. So we dress the trees in fairy lights, and there we are, then we're back to January again. People don't tend to use bedding plants on the scale that we use uh, anymore, largely due to the cost, but because it's part of that Victorianness of, of, of Wadsden, we feel that we're justified doing these bedding schemes because nobody else is doing it and it is a snapshot of history. Mm -hmm.